All right, now let's walk through this etude. Uh, so the etude is based on a jazz standard called Stella by Starlight. And the way that I'm approaching the tune is I'm playing the triad off the third of every chord. So for example, the original chord of Stella by Starlight, the, the very first chord, is E minor 7 flat 5. And that's spelled E, G, B flat, D. So I'm playing a G minor triad, G, B flat, D, and that is the uh, third, fifth, and seventh of the original chord. And so I'm doing that with every chord in the tune, uh, and you know that gives a particular sound. Um, you know, and I can have the bass player play the root note uh, if if I were playing with the bass player, and. Uh, so the only time that I don't use that concept is actually in the second bar. Uh, I'm playing an A major triad. And the reason being is because whenever I was arranging the tune, uh, I first was playing in the second bar a C sharp diminished and it just didn't flow right. So I thought, you know, I'll just play the triad off the original chord, the root of the original chord and that seemed to uh, make the arrangement better. So, But all the other chords, um, the very first chord and uh, after the uh, second chord, all the other chords, the triads are built off the third of every chord. So that's harmonically what's going on. So uh, let's walk through this now. So I start out with G minor right I'm playing a root position okay and then I go to a first inversion now you know earlier in the video I showed you like a minor triad uh, you know played like you know I was playing like a root position like this and then like a first inversion say for example like this okay well the reason why I went with uh, this fingering for the first inversion is because where I was heading next in the arrangement uh, you know because the arrangement goes like so because I was you know going to that destination of the A major that's why I chose to play the first inversion right here as opposed to right here and that's what you'll find out you know when you start doing your own arrangements uh, there's different ways of fingering these uh, spread triads and so you might base your fingering decision on you know the destination or where you're going okay all right so getting back to this so we play a root uh, form then to the first inversion of the G minor okay then we go to the A major triad as I spoke about earlier okay and then uh, first inversion of A major Okay, then we go to E flat major and that's a root position okay and then we're going to go to like a second inversion of the E flat major okay then we're going to go to a diminished root position right and then first inversion then we're going to go to a flat major and that's root position and then a first inversion Okay, and then D diminished, and that's a root position, and then we're going to the first inversion, okay, and then G minor, and that's root position, and then, and that's second inversion, and let's see, then we're going to C diminished, root position, and then first inversion. Right. Then we're going to D minor, and that's root position, then first inversion. Okay, then we're going to G minor, root position. Okay, and then uh, C sharp diminished, and that's root position. Okay, then we're going to uh, F major, root position. Okay, then second inversion. Whoops. Okay. Uh, and 
that second inversion. And we're going to D flat major uh, root position. Okay, and then to uh, G diminished root position. Okay, and then we have uh, A minor. And that's root position to uh, second inversion. Okay, then we go to G minor root position. And then C sharp diminished root position. Okay, and then C minor root position. All right, and then first inversion. Okay, and then uh, let's see, F sharp diminished root position. Okay, and then second inversion. All right, now uh, we get into the B major flat five, and that is root position. And then first inversion. Okay, and then second inversion. And then we're going to grab the root. Okay, then we want to go to E flat major root position. Then first inversion. Then second inversion. And then back to root position. Okay, and then C diminished. Then first inversion. Then second inversion. Then root position. Okay, and then D minor root position. First inversion. Second inversion. Then root position. Then we have G minor. And that's root position, then first inversion. Okay, and then F sharp diminished. Excuse me, this is C sharp diminished. C sharp diminished, and that is uh, root position, and then second inversion. Okay, then we have uh, F minor, and that's root position, then first inversion. And then B diminished root position. Then second inversion. And then E flat minor uh, root position. And then first inversion. And then A diminished root position. And then second inversion. And then we're going to uh, B flat major. Now, just as an explanation here, you know, normally for the B flat major seven chord of the original tune, I would play D minor because that's the triad off the third. But I felt like for the ending of this tune, or this etude, that I would actually use the uh, triad off the original chord, the root of the original chord, because it just sounded better. So here we have B flat major root position. <laughs> And then first inversion, second inversion, root position. Okay, and then I'm playing a B flat uh, major nine chord over D.